the network. Pow! Pow! What's up, Brand Man Network? It's Sean, and I'm back with another Brand Man Network exclusive this video right here we have to expand on the meme video that you watched now well if you haven't watched the meme video this is part two of that video watch the full one but i have to add two things that i didn't mention number one a huge part of that strategy when you're using the meme strategy and particularly the fan base pages a lot of people it's a very very common practice to delete those pages they delete those pages. They don't want people to know about the strategy or that was a part of the blow up. They wanted to feel organic. As you know, so much in the industry is all about making things appear more organic than they are just because for whatever reason, people don't care if they like the music or not. They care if they like the music and they were the ones who blew them up versus, you know, a music label or something like that. Whatever those reasons are, we're not gonna get into that psychology, but the people are deleting their fan pages. That's a common thing you'll see, you'll notice, so it'll be hard for you to catch that for certain people if you aren't watching it while it's happening. So you can check that out when you see people to start blow up with a lot of memes, but people delete their pages, you might wanna do that yourself. Just wanted to keep that note out there. There's a certain threshold when you know, oh, this ball is rolling by itself, I don't have to, I'll have these mean pages or try to push myself anymore because the ball has gotten rolling. That's a very real thing. And the other thing, this is a true foundational system that you can replicate across different artists, different genres, different industries, because once again, by a true system, this means you can put something in it and then there's a pretty predictable result that comes out of it versus a lot of these strategies where well, they're not even strategies. That's the point. There's other people that have blown up on social media without necessarily doing this. But when they do this and they become a meme, it's only because of a chance, right? Somebody happened to like them. They thought they were funnier than, than they meant to be. And then once they created a meme from them, it just caught on. That's a cool thing. But once again, I'm not about the gambling. This is about how you create your own system and something that you can implement again and again at different levels and various levels of your career as an independent. How you can be in control of your situation. More control, not just being independent because I don't have, because I own my masters. No, how do I control my marketing? How can I control my operation systems that power my marketing and, and other various parts of my business? That's what we're building here. So those are some things to keep in mind. One, delete your page. That is a thing that you can do once you hit a certain threshold and many people already do that. You don't have to. It, I don't really see it killing the vibe like some people might be afraid of happening, but it is a thing. And then two, this is a system. This is a true system. There's a lot of work that goes into this system and it is a system that I even skewed the numbers a little bit and made the numbers a little bit bigger because when we're talking about artists upcoming, right? And you're trying to break obscurity for the first time, it requires more work. It really is that 10X rule versus being somebody who already has a platform, already has a certain amount of money and attention. So then they do something and there's going to be an innate impact that happens from that alone. You'll have to do less work as you get bigger, but to start out, go hard. That's it.